Good afternoon, Vikes. Today we have information about the One Act play. I'm Madison. And I'm Mason. And this is your daily news. We talked to the cast and crew about the um, upcoming One Act play. Let's see what they had to say. Hey Vikes, the One Act plays are this weekend. Now the One Act plays are short plays that are directed by our fellow students. I went to talk to them about their plays. My show is called Check Please and it's about these two people that you follow on a series of blind dates and they all go very bad. The name of my show is A Charge is Murder and it's a uh, court drama uh, about a young man named Robert Linden who is falsely, or he's falsely accused of this crime, uh, but it, like all the evidence seems to point towards him. And it's a, a battle between the, uh, the two judges to um, get the verdict that they wish. Uh, my show is Small Actors by Stephen Gregg, and it's kind of about all of the people who aren't exactly main roles in shows. It's about this girl named Emily, and she really, really, really wants to be Juliet in her school showing of Romeo and Juliet, but she ends up getting servant number two, who only has one line in Romeo and Juliet. They told us why people should show up to the one-act plays. Uh, just come and have fun, relax at the shows. Everyone who's involved has put in a lot of hard work to make these things awesome. If you have any interest whatsoever in theater, then you should definitely come. This opportunity specifically is, is an interesting one to see what uh, students who have been working in this department for a while uh, can really do. And, and it's gonna just be a really good show, so uh, I think everybody should come if they have the opportunity. If you would like to see the one act plays, they are tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets are $5 at the door. Now let's go back to the studio. Sounds like a fun time. Now for the rest of your news. Students interested in taking driver's ed over the summer should enroll now. Contact Mr. Tinsley for more information. The Norse Nook will be open during fifth hour tomorrow, so plan to check out the store sales and apparel. If you are interested in being a part of Stuco, make sure you see Mr. Riley or Mrs. Alker for more information. This summer, the Flint Hills Writing Project is hosting a three-day Words Matter writing camp for high school students. Applications can be found online and they are due May 4th. This Monday during seminar, you will have the opportunity to hear Amazon best-selling author Nancy Guise to hear about the remarkable true story about a Holocaust survivor. Seniors attending the KU in the fall should look at the Adidas Scholars Program, which begins this summer. The six credit hours earned over the summer counts towards their KU graduation requirements and are covered by the program. Now over to Madison with the sports after this commercial break. Battle of the Bands! Wednesday, 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 April 25th, 7.30 p.m. Battle of the Bands! Live rock and roll, one night only, here. Battle of the Bands! Strategery, part two. The Nick Brady Experience. Taylor Godwin, Untamed Mustang. Battle of the Bands! Audience chooses the champion. Battle of the Bands! $3 in advance, $5 at the door. Be there, be there, be there. Battle of the Bands! Sponsored by Seaman High School Key Club, charity fundraiser for Ben and Beard. Honey, where's my SDTV? Who are you? I'm a genie. You look like you need some fresh new gear. Where can I get all this gear? Well, Ethan, if you like some more fresh gear, make sure you stop by the North Snook this Friday, which is April 20th. What if I'm a girl? Congratulations to Lady Vikes top finishers that competed at the Washman Rule track meet yesterday. Now we're to Mason with the weather.
Hey Vikes, today in the weather it's going to be in the mid 50s, so make sure to keep those jackets on. The rest of this week looks about the same, so I get a little bit warmer, but still going to be a bit chilly. Today in the news, it's Hayden Christensen's birthday and it's National High Five Day. Now back over to your anchors. <laughs> Alright, that's all we have for you today, Vikes. Make sure you go watch the one act and have a great rest of your day.